In this lecture, you are going to study pin configuration of DACIC 0808 interfacing diagram of this DACIC with 8051 microcontroller and computation of output voltage, analog output voltage as per the given digital input voltage. Pin configuration of DAC 0808. It is 8-bit DAC, so it has 8 digital input terminal. The digital input terminals are written here as A1, A2, A3, A4, then A5, A6, A7 and A8, where A1 is referred as MSB and A8 is referred as LSB. When we connect these terminals to microcontroller, it can be referred as D0 to D7. That data from microcontroller or digital data from microcontroller will be given to this IC and IC will convert this digital data into analog signal. The analog output will be available at pin number 4. This analog output is in the form of current. Externally, we have to connect current to voltage converter which will convert this output current into voltage and then we get a, a voltage analog signal. Then it has the ground terminal that is pin number 2. Then VCC is pin number 13. 5 volt supply can be used as a VCC. Then it has a VEE terminal. Negative voltage can be connected to pin number 3. Generally, we are connecting this pin to ground. Then it is having V reference positive terminal. Generally, we connect a plus 5 volt supply here. We can connect 10 volt also. And the output current depends upon the value of this reference voltage. Then negative reference voltage can also be connected to pin number 15, but generally it is connected to ground. To reduce the noise, the capacitor is connected to, can be connected to compensation terminal. So it is connected between pin number 16 and ground and pin number 1 is not connected. Now interfacing of DAC0808 with 8051. Now 0808 IC is 8-bit DAC IC. So it is having 8 digital terminal D0 to D7 we can use and these terminals are connected to port 1. So here the port 1 is connected uh, to provide a digital input to this DAC IC. We can use any other port also, port 0, port 2 or port 3. And this interfacing diagram, port 1 is connected. So in all programs, we'll use port 1 to send a digital data to DAC IC. Here VCC is used as a plus 5 hole and the V reference terminal is connected to plus 5 hole through this I reference resistor that is selected as 2.5K and the reference current will be 2 milliampere. Then this 15 and pin number 2 are connected to ground. Pin number 4 is output terminal which provides analog output in the form of current. So we are connecting here external I2V converter using operational amplifier. So 2.5K resistor is connected in a feedback of this op-amp. So at the output of op-amp, we'll get an output voltage which is related to output current. Then pin number 16, the capacitor is connected and the second terminal is here connected to VEE. VEE is used as a minus 15 volt and that is connected to pin number 3. So using this interfacing diagram, uh, we can write uh, programs to generate uh, different types of signal uh, at the output of this uh, op-amp or output of this DAC. Output voltage of DAC depends upon output current and output current is depends upon the reference current and digital input. So output current is given using this formula I0 is equal to I reference and in bracket D0 by 2 plus D1 by 4 
plus d7 by 256 so you have to add this weighted sum of this digital input now we'll just take this few examples now if digital data input is 00 h and v reference is plus 5 volt and i reference is 2 milliampere then using this formula if you calculate uh, output current then it will be zero and output voltage will be equal to 2.5 k that is the feedback resistance connected to op amp into output current so since output current is zero this output voltage is zero so when we uh, provide 00h data from microcontroller to dac the output voltage will be zero volt now consider a second example if digital input is ATH that is 1000000 this input is given to DAC V reference is plus 5 volt and I reference is 2 milliampere if you substitute this D0 to D7 values here we will get the current is equal to 1 milliampere and if you calculate the voltage that comes out to be 2 volt so for input ATH, digital input ATH, the analog output is 2 volt. If input digital data is FFH, that means all input bits are 1, then if we compute I out, output current, then it is 2 milliampere. And if you calculate output voltage, then output voltage will be 5 volt. So if we apply a zero input, digital input, we will get a zero hold. And if we apply FFH, that is all bits are one, then we get the output as five hold. So range of our output voltage is zero to five hold. program to generate square wave using DAC. Now as we know to generate uh, output voltage of 0 volt we have to send uh, 0000 on each digital input of DAC that is we have to send 00H as an input to DAC so at output we will get a 0 volt and when we send FFH to DAC the output voltage is 5 volt. Now to generate square wave we have to send a logic 0 and keep it for some time period for example T1. So we will send a logic 0, we will call a delay of T1 so output will be 0 hold for time period T1. Then we will send FFH to DAC and we will call a delay of again T1 second and this process will repeat continuously so it will generate a square wave at this output terminal and we can connect CRO and observe this square wave now if you want to generate a square wave for particular frequency then we have to find the on time and off time and we can write a program for delay for that particular time period we can uh, generate a square wave or uh, square wave with a different duty cycle also for that we have to write two delay program one for on time and the second delay for off time so depends upon this delay on time and off time we can generate a square wave now first we'll send a ffh uh, on port P1 so since P1 is connected to data bus of D2A converter so FFH is stored uh, in P1 uh, register then we will call a delay so for that we will use instruction A call delay after this delay this is on time delay we will send 00H to DAC so move P1 hash 00H and then we call again a delay this is off time delay and we want to repeat these steps continuously so we'll write here instruction s jump back and back label will be given to this first instruction so program will be executed continuously 
Now we have to write after writing this. We have to write a delay program. So delay program depends upon the frequency of square wave. This general delay program I have written here in R7 FFH stores and I am decrementing R7 till it becomes zero. After this we have to write here return statement so it will go back to main program. For proper delay generation we can use a timer to generate a delay according to frequency. So you can refer a programs of delay generation using timer. So this program will generate a square wave at the output of this DAC. No program to generate a staircase signal. Any type of staircase signal can be generated using DAC. This is just an example of one staircase signal and the program is simple. Here whenever we want a logic zero output, we will send 00H to DAC through microcontroller and we will call a delay of this particular time interval. For example here T1. Then after this period we want output voltage 2.5 volt. So for that we have to send input voltage at 7FH. So we will get a 2.5 volt nearly equal to 2.5 volt and we will call a delay. The time period for delay should be between T1 and T2. So then after this period output voltage we want is 5 volt. So to get a 5 volt output voltage, we will send the input to DAC as FFH and we call a delay. Here we can find a delay between T2 and T4 and that much delay we can write the program to generate that much delay. After that again we want a voltage level of 2.5 volt. So we will send uh, input voltage as 7FH to DAC and we call a delay. Delay period should be between T4 and T5 and then we want a logic 0 so we will send a 00H and this cycle should be repeated so we want to execute this program continuously. Now if you assume all these delays are equal uh, that is delay T, T1 and delay or time period between T1 and T2 is same, time period between T2 and T3, time period between T3 and T4 and time period between T4 and T5. All these durations are same, then we can write one delay program uh, for each state. Otherwise, you have to write a different uh, delay program. So here for this particular staircase signal, First we will send 00H on port P1, we call a delay, then we will send 7FH on port P1, then we call a delay, then we send FFH on port P1. Now in this example, this here delay is double. So we call this delay two times, then we will send 7FH on port P1, call a delay. And this uh, cycle we want to repeat continuously. So we will write instruction S jump back. So program will be executed continuously. Thank you for watching this video. In 